Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to use Blurb in Cubase because I had uh, some similar questions last year. So I installed the latest Cubase Pro 13, but I believe it's relevant for other versions of Cubase because I remember checking this years before, like seven years ago, and it worked about the same back then. Just a little different GUI. So, um, I have uh, Synth 1 here, um, just playing from my keyboard. Uh, it can be any VST synth. Uh, so, uh, only important thing uh, in the latest versions of Cubase is that now there is this MIDI insert section and it should not confuse you because you cannot use uh, third-party media effects uh, from here. It's only for Ste uh, Steinberg's own media effects. You cannot put in Blurp or other MIDI plugin here because Steinberg doesn't allow this. The, they didn't open uh, kind of this plugin format for for third for the third-party developers, and I think they won't. Uh, but the old way, it works and it's not, not difficult actually, and I think it's not bad. Uh, all you have to do is to add Blurp as another instrument track, so I'm doing this right now. And if I disarm uh, my synth track temporarily, I, I can see that Blue Arp receives MIDI notes uh, as I play them here in Input Keys Prefilter. Uh, we see that notes appear in the list. And only thing left to do is uh, switch back to my synth track and here in routing MIDI input change it from my MIDI keyboard to Bluearp's MIDI output. And make sure both tracks are armed either for recording or for monitoring. So now you can hear it's arpeggiating and let's uh, change to some other program like uh, Riff Up. So that's it. We have Blurp working. Uh, another thing people sometimes ask is how to record Blurp's output into the door, so into into the track. Here in Cubase, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is to arm a uh, synth track for recording, and since it already receives the notes from Blurp, it should work. <laughs> So let's hit uh, record and see what happens. You see some notes start appearing here. So yeah, it recorded MIDI output from Blurp and I can play it back. Another way is to, uh, let's delete that MIDI clip, it's to record it into Bluearp's MIDI track. And then we will have just the source chords. Let's do that. Uh, the advantage of this second method is uh, that you can switch Blurp's patterns on the fly. Like this way. Uh, only important thing is that you can disarm this track both for monitoring and recording. Once you have all your chords recorded here, but you should keep the synth track armed for monitoring. Otherwise, it will ignore notes coming from Blurp's output. And that's it. This is how you use Blurp in Cubase. Thanks for watching and see you next time.